Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the next
take the update for, for the uh, latest development of Cortina. And the last news that I've received from uh, Dr. Abdul Halim from uh, Multimedia University state that the uh, Malacca uh, state government has okay, officially uh, appointed as the Wakala of the Cortina. Okay. So that is the first state government okay, to, uh, uh, trying to make this Cortina as a uh, medium of talent. Now we look at the implementation. There are two alternatives that we can look. Firstly is to wipe out the entire fiat money from the system or to use it uh, side by side with our domestic money. Okay, for the, uh, the first one that I mentioned before, which is wipe out the uh, fiat money, it is actually impractical because it could jeopardize one economy. So what the government is looking okay, is to use a gold dinar for international trade purposes only. Okay? For international trade purposes only. Because it is practical, especially when it is being used between the OIC countries, 57 OIC countries. Okay? Now this is the bill by payment arrangement that of credit process that I I'm showing to you right now. So actually, the bilateral payment arrangement process is not in the paper. Okay, this uh, process is actually the same as the conventional system. Okay, the same as the conventional system, except that it is using the gold dinar as is the new condition. Okay, we pay using gold instead of US dollar or uh, Japanese yen or euro dollar. So the denomination will be in gold. So the, the payment settlement will be paid maybe within three months or six months, depending on the arrangement between the central banks of these two countries. Then after that, it will be extended to multilateral payment arrangement when more than two countries will join into this BPA system. Okay, so if you want to have a better or a, uh, I mean, a better explanation on the BPA system, you can always refer to my newly released book, The Mechanism of the Promotion. <coughs> promotion. Alright, now I'll continue on to the topic that I'm talking about today, the impact on the social order. So I'll be talking on four uh, major attributes here. First one is curbing greed and other negative animals. So when we are using the gold dinner, it could create greed and also other negative animals. Why? Look at the nature of fiat money. Nature of fiat money actually promotes interest. Interest, eh? interest of in other words, we call it riba. Okay? So when you lend money, okay, you are being charged with interest. So interest in Islam or in the Islamic economy it is prohibited as in, uh, uh, in his, uh, Al Baqarah verses 275. Okay? Okay, Al Baqarah verses 275. Interest is prohibited. So basically, interest in the Islamic economy it is prohibited. And paper money actually does not prevent interest from being created. Okay? Because if you look at the nature of paper money when you lend, standing it, you are being charged another ten percent of interest and you have to pay if you want your standing at ten cents. That ten cents is the interest and in addition to what you have in lend before. Okay? So that is a negative element. It actually promotes greed. Okay? Promotes greed. And then secondly is increased inflation. Because you look at the nature of paper money, paper money actually promotes the credit creation. If you, if you look at the, uh, if you uh, refer to the literature on the money creation, credit creation from banking system, if you uh, keep one hundred ringgit, then you will be multiplicated, duplicated when people land from the banking system, and then keep it back to the banking system, it will be multiplied. So how? Uh, Credit creation also 
promote inflation. And also it promotes unemployment. Because when you look at unemployment, okay, for example, if I am a businessman, okay, I am a businessman, I want to invest in a business that will give me a return of 10%. But if the banking sector are giving 20%, would I go to the uh, to venture to the business? 